Oh, hello, and welcome to the Joy of Painting Middle Earth. I'm Timbo Took, of course, and oh, you've got me having a sip of tea and some of my merch, as my little hobbits call it. Oh, this is one of my Joy of Painting Middle Earth coffee mugs. That's right. I'll just set that over there, and we can get to today's painting. That's right, this is a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. Now, I've already, I've already prepared our canvas, and what I've done is I've put that magic white on the canvas that Bob Ross the Blue Wizard taught us how to do. That's right, he used to come to the Shire just when I was a wee hobbit, and he taught us all how to paint. And what he would do, and this is what we do, it's a wet-on-wet -wet technique where we touch the canvas, we've got some liquid white, some of that magic white. It's just a real thin, it wettens the canvas, and that way we can start our painting. So let's get to it today. I've got my colors here. I have my sap green, alizarin crimson, phthalo blue, ivory black, burnt umber, lemon, ca cadmium lemon, that's what it is, uh, yellow ochre, and of course titanium white. So today I'm going to, we're going to Go down a river, that's right, going down the Anduin River, after we've left Lothlorien, our fellowship that is, and we're just going to put in kind of a gloomy sky here. So we're going to go into some, some phthalo blue and some ivory black. Just load that up on the brush, there we go. Just mix that together. And we've already got that, the white on there, so it'll mix, it'll give us a nice blue-gray color. So just, we just come in and swirl that in, that's right, that's right. There we go, there we go, okay, we have got a lot of blue in there. So we'll just bring this down. Now let's... Let's wash off that brush. I meant to have more black than blue in there, and it appears that I got more blue than black. So I'll just come up here, and now we'll mix this in. Oh, giving us a little bit of dark clouds there. That's right. They're not all gonna be dark though. Just work them in. Work them in. There we go. Just bring it down like that. And you see that gives us all sorts of different values and things. We got some sky peeking through. We got some dark clouds. Oh, but don't worry, don't worry. Make sure we fill in all those places. Now, I'm just going to set this two inch brush off to the side. And let's come into our fan brush. And we're just going to load it up with some titanium weight. That's what we'll do. Just load that up. Now, as I said, we're going down the Anduin River. Now, we're making our way towards the Argonoth. We're not quite there yet, so we'll paint that one here, here in a bit coming up. That's right, we want to make that a very special episode. But today we're just showing that river as our fellowship floats down it. So I've got a lot of titanium white in there, and we're just going to come in and we're just going to just mash it on there. That's right, mash that in. And that picks up a lot of color, so you got to clean that off. And of course, I'm cleaning our paint in the odorless paint thinner today. That's how we do it. And then, oh, we just beat the Sauron out of the brush. Down in our rubbish bin right now, when we're painting outside, we'll just beat the, the Sauron out of the brush on the easel. So we get that brush nice and clean. Let's even maybe... Maybe we'll pick up a little bit of our liquid white that we use, that magic white, and put it in there. That'll just help it stick over that paint that we've already laid down. 
hopefully a little better. Here we go. And just mash that in. Oh, there we go. All over the place. There we go. Just mash it in, mash it in. Now, clean that color off the brush again. Just come back. Come back to our white. There we go. Just load it back up on the brush. And come here. There we go. Just mash that. Mash that down. This has given us just a lot of different things going on in the sky there. There we go. Load that up. Load it up. There we are. Now that we have that, and what we'll do is we'll just come and scrape off some of that excess. There we go. Just those places where it's real heavy, just pull that up a bit. Then we come back. Clean our two inch brush. We didn't do that before. <laughs> there we go. Just beat the saran out of it. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to gently, gently work that in. Oh, this brush might be a little too wet yet. There we go. And just just pull those and you see all kinds of things happen in there. There we go. There we go. And you don't want to do it too hard. This is just a light, light stroke. There we are. Knock some of the paint off that you're picking up and then come back. There we are. Just gently and lightly. That's right. Then just come across. Just take out some of those brush strokes. And that quickly we have a sky that's got a lot of personality. There we go. There we go. All right, now we want some water down here. We're just gonna come into our phthalo blue and we'll just put some water in. Just run it right across. That water's gonna... It's just gonna run into the back of the painting there. Now this isn't a lake, it's not a standing body of water. So sometimes if we're doing a lake, we just come in from the sides and we leave that glare in the middle for the sun. But we don't have a real sunny day. That's right, we don't have a real sunny day. So we can just bring it right across because this is gonna run into the back of the painting. There we go. And we'll have land on the sides and things. You'll see, you'll see. There we go. All right, let's put some, let's put some mountains in here. So let's go into uh, some of our alizarin crimson into this dark color we have here. There we go. Maybe a little more of that. And these mountains are very far away. We're not quite up to them yet. Our fellowship is in their canoes, the boats they got in Lothlorien, from the elves in Lothlorien. So, so we have kind of a deep violet color here. And we have some mountains. They're just going to be back here. So 
They're just the shadows of mountains, that's right. And we may have to keep going back for color. But that's okay, these are hidden a bit in the fog. Just with the corner of your brush. So what you do is you pick up that lighter color, come back into your darker color. And just keep mixing that in. And... There we go, just giving that edge and we can bring it down. As they march away from us. Just some cliffs and things back there. That's right. And just pull it down. That's just in the background. So what we do is we'll get some more of that. Make up some more of that. And of course we have mountains coming in from this side. There we go. And these will come right down in front of those other ones because this river winds through them. That's right. And just bring it down, bring it down. And it gives us this misty area at the bottom. There we go. There we are. So those are off. Those are off where a river has taken us to. Wherever that may be. Wherever that may be. And just to give him. There we go. And you have all kinds of different shades and colors in here. There we are. Those are. Trees and things that are catching those hills and those mountains. That's right. That's right. Now let's let's clean up our palette a little bit. Let's clean that up. Let's just move some of this over. So we have some area to work. And some of that will mix in with what we're going to do. But I'll just stick that up there for now. There we go. And we'll just clean off that dirty old brush. There we are. Now, now, we want some grassy hills and things. Those, those mountains there have some foothills that are in front of them. So what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll come, some of our black, our burnt umber, some of our sap green. There we go. Just still working with this big old two inch brush. And we're just going to come in and put some of our foothills here. There we go. Come back, get a bit more. And just fill it in, just letting some areas be darker, some be lighter. That gives you some variation in your hill. Knock off some of that light that we're picking up. Get more of our dark color mixed up here. 
and then using the whole brush, tap that into the whole brush as we bring that in. There we go. Just coming along the riverbank here, coming along. And we're just filling this in. And of course, we want to give that some reflection. So the way we do that is we just pull it straight down. Just pull straight down. And don't worry about it too much over here because we're going to be covering some of that up. But again, over here, wherever that is. And just gently pull across. There we go. That just gives us that reflective look. There we are. Now let's come over on this side and do the same. Let's make this side a little bit brighter. Just put some of our cadmium lemon in that. That'll green that right up. There we go. And it comes down, comes down this way. Let's back here, give some hill and some shape back here too. And just pull that across, giving it some reflection. There we go. Just fill that in. Now we're tapping this all, all very hard. We want to make sure we want to make sure that this is tightened up. I've knocked that right off the easel before. Oh, and that makes a mess. Actually, I've been pretty lucky. I say that, but it got caught on the easel the last time and it didn't make such a big mess. Oh, I was very lucky, a very lucky hobbit I was. All right, so we have this coming in here. Again, we're just making some reflection there. Just pulling that across, darkening up the water a bit. There we go. Muddying up those waters, as they would say. There we are. Oh, brush twisted on me. Now, now let's come, let's give this, this is, we'll give it a nice autumn color. It's kind of late winter, I believe, when they are going on this journey. We'll just come into our yellow ochre and our cadmium lemon. Just tap that into the brush. There we go. Just, oh, we want a more even color. I had some layers in there. Just tap that in. Now we're just gonna come and we're just going to give that some highlight. That's right, even though we're not in the Forest of Lothlorien anymore. Some of those leaves and things, they still give it that golden shine as they go down the Anduin. There we are. There we go. And when we put a little bit of that gold color in there, let's make sure to give some of that in the reflection. Maybe a little too much right there, but oh, that's okay. That's okay. Just knock some of it off the brush there. <laughs> Just beat the Sarah out of the brush. There we go. All right. And just pull that across as well. There we go. Now maybe on this side, maybe we want that to... 
give us a little more red in there. Oh, that might be a little too red. Now let's try some sap green. Come down, we're just mixing up some colors here. There we go. Just want to highlight color for that grass. Just pop it in there, just right along the edge. There we go. That just gives you some, some things that are growing back there. There we go. There we go. And you just let these layers come in where there's lights and darks. Maybe we'll green that up a bit. And just come in. There we go. And again, knock some of that color off the brush and just bring it down. There we go. There we are. Now let's come back to our fan brush. Clean that off. Now I'm going to come to some of that liquid white again and put it in here with our titanium white. There we go. And let's come in, we'll give a little bit of shoreline here. And we'll just make some things happen. Just rubbing it back and forth. Just giving some... Just some things happening in this water. There we go. Knock some of that color off. Come back up to it. And back here as well. And if you pick up a little bit of that color, that's okay. If you've ever seen a river, a river is not usually very, very, very clear. These rivers, they'll, they'll pick up some things from the trees and from the grass and the dirt, and they'll make their own color. That's right, so we just put that in there. Just, and by doing this, we're giving the water some flow. That's right. Because this is running water. There we go. There we go. Look at all those colors, how they just play against each other. That's right. Now, of course, it's not just grass on the sides of the, on the sides of the water. There's some trees and things. And even, maybe, maybe we have some, some patches of just bare dirt on the shore. So let's just come up. Uh, let's get a bit more white into our burnt umber. There we are. Just get some of that. And we just bring this down. There we go. There we are. And you see, we just go right over these spots here. Just bringing that down to the water. It might be a good place to beach your kayak or your canoe, whatever you happen to be going down the water in. And you can give it some spots that are a little darker. There we go.
And you might need the help of a brush to get it into those corners there. Anyway, just bring that right down, right down to the water. And we can come back and go on this side, right there. We'll put some grass and stuff on that too. There we go. Just press that right in. Giving that some land that's right there. Some bare, some bare dirt and rock coming right down to that shore. That's right. There we go. And on the bottom there, you might need to come in with a brush. Grab a little bit more of that white and just give some highlight in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that right along the edge. The same over here. There we go. There we are. Now again, let's let's put some trees in here. So let's let's get ourselves that go back to that burnt umber. And maybe, maybe, maybe right here we have. Just give ourselves the trunk of a tree that comes up. Maybe comes along this side as well. Uh, turn it over and give them a little pull this way. That'll give them a little more shape. There we go. And of course, he's got some friends back here. Just touch that in, it'll give you the shape, shape of a trunk. There we go. And another one back this way. And just touch in some branches there. There we go. Now, let's come in, let's come in with a one inch brush and we'll make a dark color to put down in the back. There we go. And we'll just Put some leaves with our one inch brush. Just tap that on. Go back, pick up some more. There we go. And you see, you can cover up parts of the trunk. You're not gonna see the whole thing. It'll just peek out there. And the same back here. Just, and this, it's getting thicker and thicker in there.
And maybe there's some more trees and things back here too. There we go. And you just put those right down to the riverbank. Maybe go back, put a little more dark in there. Darken that up back here. It gets pretty dark. There we go. There we are. Now we can just come back. Just take our our palette knife and just scrape in some trunks back there. You don't have to do a lot. Just that'll give you just some some things poking out of the trees, some branches and things. There we go. There you see. You're just taking the corner of that knife and scraping off the paint. All right. Just cleaning off that one inch brush now. Now we're going to come into a highlight color. And we're just going to keep it on these. Now we're going to add a little bit of paint thinner in there because a, a thin paint will stick to a thick paint. That's right. So we just tap that onto our brush and we just come up here and just, oh, we just tap in those highlights. There we go. There we go. And you don't want one solid, solid color going across. You just let some of that dark peek through. There we go. Some of it will be brighter, some of it will be darker. As you come lower, it might be a little darker in here. Just give shape and things. There we go. And just really tap those into the brush and then just come straight on. There we go. Just tap those in. There we are. There we go. And that quick, we have our whole forest over here. There we go. And just Cover those, those stumps right down there at the bottom as well. There we go. Just let those get lost. Let those get lost in some of that. There we are. Now, now maybe, maybe we have some different types of trees on this side of the bank. Maybe on that side of the river bank, we have some evergreen trees. Oh, so let's put some of those in. What we want to do is we want to come back and get a nice dark base that we're going to use for that. Just get that color loaded up on the fan brush. There you go. There you go. Now back here, we're just going to use the top corner of the brush and we're just going to just put some of these in. And there we go. Some are going to come higher than others. Come back. 
load it up. And very quickly, you're dropping in many, many of those evergreen trees. There we go. There we go. Oops. Got a little, little rugged there at the bottom. Just turn your brush over. There you are. And at the base, you just put those in. You can even come in. Just ever so little of that titanium white and then bring it in and just pull up. And that gives you even more things going on inside these trees. There we go. There we are. Now come back, come back to our dark color. We're going to come in here, load that up on the brush, and now we need some tall, some tall trees here. So just start off with the indication of a trunk, and then just come back and with the corner of the brush, just doing zigzags back and forth, back and forth. There we go. And let that brush bend and give you the shape of those trees. There we are. It'll just come down. And put another one right back here, maybe. There we go. Just start it off. And then again, just zigzag back and forth. Just bending the brush. Let the paint come off. There we are. And we'll give some more right here. Maybe there's a real tall one right here. Coming all the way up. There we are. There we are. And again, just starting at the top, using the corner of your brush, just letting those things happen. There we go. Just pressing harder as you get down towards the bottom. There we are. And maybe there's one right in the middle there. There we go. And it kind of gets lost down there at the bottom. Not to worry though, we come back, come back up, get some of our green, mix in some of our Cadmium lemon there. And we come back and just do some highlights on those. That's right. Not highlighting every one. There we are. And maybe knock some of that darker color off so we can get a little bit more of a highlight going there. There we go. And just put that in. Put that in on your brush and then come up. There we go. Just giving some separation in the color. Come back, get more of that yellow, mix it in with that green. There we are. There we are. Now we have this nice, nice spot along the Anduin River. And maybe back here. Maybe give some highlight to some of those trees back in there. Where they're picking up the sun. 
There we go. And give some grass here. Just grab that and pull it up. Gives us some long grass along the riverbank. And then maybe we put some on top of that. But that's a real thick paint, so we want to get that thinned out. And just be careful when you pick some of that up. Just coming over. There we go. Just remember, knock it off. Load up the brush again. And just put some of that grass growing right down out of that dirt. There we go. There we go. And you could do the same on the other side. And you see that I've got that real thin, so it just sticks right to it. There we are. And you can put some of that grass back here. Just bring that right down to the riverbank there. You see, see how having that real thin on there, bring that reaches right out into our river. Now, let's go back, let's go back and clean off our palette knife. We had it a little dirty just from scraping some stuff off. Now we've just got some liquid white here and we're just going to cut that into our shoreline. just to give it a little more definition. Just cut it straight across. Hopefully my head isn't tilted again. just gives you something to define where the land stops and the reflection starts. A little more of that. And you have to make sure you get it right on the edge of that knife. There we are. 
Now, one more thing we need to put in here. Right here, there's a log floating in that water. That's right. There's a log floating right there. Because on that log, there is a stinker and a sneaker. That's right. On this log that's floating in the water, we've got our villain. Oh, as my Grand Gaffer Gamgee would say, oh, he was a villain, Timbo. He was a villain. So we put in this log, and that's where Mr. Gollum floated down the river looking for the ring bear. Oh, Mr. Frodo. That's right. He wanted that ring back. He wanted that ring back indeed. There we go. Now that we have that, come back. Some of our liquid white right there, right there. Right on that log. And old Mr. Gollum held on to that log and he sneakily paddled right down the river, following our following our fellowship. That's right, because he wanted that ring for himself. Well, there you have it. Our travelers, our fellowship, is headed down the Anduin River. They're going to, oh, soon they're going to come across the Argonoth. Oh, the great statues. That's right. We'll do a painting on that one as well. So thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun with this one. I'll see you next time. Goodbye and God bless. Thank you for joining me on today's painting. I'm so happy you were with me. Now, if you'd like to continue to go on painting adventures with me, become part of my fellowship. And you do that by clicking that subscribe button below. Yes, and be sure to give it a like and a share. That would be oh so helpful. Now, we don't know how many of these seeing stones are unaccounted for. So we don't know who else is watching. I've got to go. Have a good day.